Uh, we are here. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another QAH video. Well, Genshin in the back. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Just want me a quick intro. As you can see, Genshin Impact finally has gotten back to work after the lockdown. Hopefully everything is still okay, still good. Uh, we're going to get 2.7. It's already down low on energy. It's been, it's, it's, it's been a long night. It's been a long night. We're getting 2.7 for 6 weeks. Ooh, kind of cringy, but um, it's better than nothing. So. I wonder how they put together this special live stream together so I'm really hyped about so we got a couple of minutes I don't know what happened to the audio last time I did do version 2.6 I don't I don't know what happened to the audio last time the visuals was great audio was audio wasn't there I don't know what happened last time But hopefully everything goes good. My thoughts on the new four star to talk real quick. Uh he looks he, he definitely looks like a knockoff of Kazuo and Benny. And definitely has the four star Kazuo kit too. I'm kinda disappointed in this new four star. Hopefully Yinlan, however you pro pronounce the name, kit is way better because Oh, I'm talking about you guys. I'm talking about you guys. No, I'm not. Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah. Did it start? Does that mean even Shao can't sense our presence here? Hey, we're not going to blame me, because I don't know why every time I choose compass. to record this, I fear always that this a delay the ground is bigger within the live stream. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. Busted! Here comes the catch! Maybe I should make better use of my time. Our bond is strong! Stand with me! Lightning purified! Look, it's still alive! Why would you become like this? No way! Was that who I think it was? Something's not right. <laughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Leave now! Ew, Get out of there! I'm sorry, I just have you look. I lured you here to this underground space because I <laughs> found your weakness. Die here with me! That was a clean intro, though. I need to ask my wallpaper. First code already? They're not gonna talk to us? They're just gonna show Taylor's? And is the entry is gonna be the four star? Along with the banner? It is all coming back? Reflex out? Sheesh. But yeah, if you're watching this in post time, sorry for the delay. I don't know what's up with me in the live streams. It loves to do this delay. I had to reload the page in order to watch it. It's very stupid. <sighs> but we're here. Redeem your code. Let's go. But uh, they're, they're not going to talk to us and explain what's there to come? Or do they have a voiceover? Let me shut up and see. Ooh, <laughs> how dramatic was that? Yeah, yeah, for real. Wow. Yeah, no kidding. Xiao's voice sounded a little odd in the trailer, so I hope he's okay. Yeah. And it looks like we also he's get to right see there. some more of Lumine or Ether, depending on which twin you chose. And I'm not going to lie, guys, 
we have so much stuff to introduce to everyone today. I'm pretty sure that everyone's waiting to see all these new characters and what their new event wishes will be, so let's get started with that. Yeah! One character at a time of all In the early so part of version 2.7, <gasps> our new playable character, Yelan, will be appearing it is in her come own back. event C1. wish. Come back. At the C1. same time, our old buddy Xiao will also be returning for a rerun in his event wish. In the later part of version 2.7, Arataki Ito That's me. will be making a return alongside his deputy leader, Kuki Shinobu, in his own event wish. Ah, oh, Kuki Shinobu. She's a dreamboat. She can do anything. <laughs> Also, in terms of weapons, travelers so can expect Kiki to see an all-new weapon banner featuring the new five-star bow, Aqua Simulacra. And that covers the new event wishes for version 2.7. Next, we have a quick trailer to give us a preview of the first of our new characters, Yelan. Roll tape! Hey, get it, Yelan. I hope she a main DPS and not a support. I'm be mad if we get another five star support character by Shin Hin, Shin Wen, whatever her name is. That was a queen first. Hello, traveler. Call me Yelan. I think you may need my help, and I just so happen to be interested in some information you have. In other words, you scratch my back. I'll scratch yours. Yay, landing it is. Cool. <laughs> I like that dice move. I really like how she turns invisible. It's like my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, I love how swift her movements are. Like, mm -hmm. ooh. And that dash? Yeah, oh, super cool. Totally. That's dope. And what a silky smooth voice. Ah, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> So many of you may already recognize Yelan from when she appeared in the chasm. Her archery skills are pretty impressive. So, Laura, would you mind lifting the veil on this mysterious character? Of course. Yelan is the mysterious owner of the Yenshang Tea House in Liyue. Definitely not the first mysterious tea house owner we've met. <laughs> That's right. Would you look at that? Seems like running a tea house can be a pretty confrontational job in Tibet. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, actually, though, being a tea house owner is not the only identity Yelan has. In fact, you could say that Yelan is a person with many different faces. She relies on her acting skills to naturally blend into any social setting, pull some strings to guide the course of events, and then poof, disappear before anyone's noticed. <laughs> Her activities have taken her across the other nations of Tevat, and even to the Abyss. Alright, nice. So, she also travels around Tevat. Like, the Traveler. But can't you, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but can but you hold her Maybe a little more dangerous looking than you just Hey, water. the Traveler can be dangerous. Well, sure Yelan prefers the thrill of exploring no, dangerous places and Please living on the edge a little. Interesting. If you ask me, Yelan is starting to sound more like a special agent type of character. Well, hell, sounds like you are following the clues, Zack. Yelan is actually a special intelligence officer that reports to Ningguang, and she serves as a reliable line of defense in protecting Liyue. Even those on the inside like Ganyu don't know the full extent of Yelan's duties. So in other words, Yelan works under Ningguang? Kinda, but I wouldn't put it quite like that. To Yelan, her relationship with Ningguang isn't about rank, it's more about a collaboration. Ningguang arranges dangerous work, and Yelan brings her the resulting intel. This sounds so Will we secretive. See more of this I, I'm kind of curious about how these two started working together. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Speaking of her work, Yelan keeps tabs on any extraordinary individuals she comes across and puts them on a list. It wouldn't surprise me if we even found the Traveler on her list, and that she's been keeping a close eye on them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are, are you serious? Maybe. Maybe not. 
Anyway, is this a as affair? someone who works in special like, intelligence, like Elon mm-hmm. is a master of disguise <laughs> and an expert at seeing through people and understanding what they're thinking. So, if you'd like to see how Yelan operates in tough scenarios and works to uncover the truth, then be sure to check out her story quest, Umbrabilis Orcus Chapter, dropping in version 2.7. We've been calling her Ye- Sweet. In the Ye- Okay, Lan. so now that we've heard a little bit about Yelan's background, how about we talk about her combat capabilities? Let's do it! Yelan wields a bow and manipulates a Hydro Vision, and in combat, she's a Hydro DPS character that combines rapid attacks with agile mobility. She's an expert yeah, at weaving in and out of dangerous situations by swiftly moving across the battlefield and rejoining the fray with powerful attacks. She's so agile. You know, she may move as gracefully as a flower petal in the wind, but uh, do not cross her. She is a beast with that bow. <laughs> <laughs> After a short time out of combat, Yelan will enter a breakthrough state, which will cause her next charged aim shot to have decreased charge time. And once charged, she can fire a breakthrough barb that will deal AoE hydro damage. Yelan's speed becomes quickly apparent in her elemental skill, Lingering Lifeline. Tapping or holding the skill button allows her to move rapidly using her lifeline, marking opponents along her path. When her rapid move ends, the lifeline will explode, dealing hydro damage to marked targets. Yelan also has a fixed chance to reset her breakthrough state, based on the number of opponents marked. Ooh, cool. So we'd better try to mark a whole crowd of enemies to maximize the damage. Mm Mm-hmm. Her elemental burst, Depth Clarion Dice deals AoE Hydro Damage and creates Wondrous Dice, which aid her in battle. The dice follow the character around and will initiate a coordinated attack when your active character uses a normal attack and each time Yelan's lifeline explodes and hits opponents. With Yelan's passive talent, Adapt with Ease, the active character's damage increases over time while the dice are active. I'm telling you, do not mess with her. She sounds gnarly. Uh, sounds like she could also fill a solid support role, too. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. Yelan also has another Diverse passive talent clean, called though. Turn Control, which causes Yelan's max HP to be increased based on the number of elemental types that are present in the party. And finally, because of Yelan's understanding of the Liyue region, she gains increased rewards when dispatched on a Liyue expedition for 20 hours. Ah, that makes sense. Of course, even after sharing all this information, Yelan still has a lot of secrets. Travelers will have to spend more time with Yelan on their journey to learn more about her. She'll also be making an appearance in the new Archon Quest interlude chapter coming in version 2.7. We'll have more details on that shortly, so don't miss it. Nice. And now, I think it's about time we introduce our second new character, Kuki Shinobu. Oh, she's the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. Second to Ito, of course. So uh, let's see her in action. Okay, but are you a five star or a four star? You look clean though. And you better not be a support. You know, so give me maybe two bombs. Just let me okay. know if you ever find yourself in a pinch. I can help you out. That's it? Oh, <laughs> wow. that's a spicy trailer. So cool. Yeah. I love the way she looks, like her color scheme and, of course, the green hair and the mask. Like, she looks super capable. Me too. Yeah, no, I love her design. I love that, like, lightning flowing around her and the swords, the way they go up in the air and Mm -hmm. go down. (laughs) Well, you guys can see why she'd be an obvious addition to the Arataki gang. She's just that good. Uh, All right, leave the introduction to me, will you? Only after getting to know Shinobu can you really begin to fathom how important she is to the entire Arataki gang. Kuki Shinobu knows how to do almost anything and is constantly rescuing the boss, aka Ito, and fellow gang members from dangerous situations. With her help, the little wandering gang of misfits in Hanamizaka has become a skilled crew capable of taking on any kind of commission. 
Oh, I think I see who's really running things in the gang. So the real question here is why would someone as competent as Shinobu ever choose to join the Arataki gang? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what are you trying to say, Zach? Oh, you know what I'm trying to say. No, I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, let's move on. <laughs> anyway, we need to track the start of Shinobu's no, story to back to her family. To hear, Turns out that her family has traditionally served as shrine maidens to Narukami for who knows how long. So you're saying she went from a strict family of shrine maidens to joining the Arataki gang? Yeah. That's, is that so surprising? That's a pretty big 180. Well, it just goes to show how much she's changed. When she was younger, Shinobu was sent as an understudy to the Grand Narukami Shrine. But after a certain incident, she started to doubt whether she was really suited for the strict life of a shrine maiden. So Shinobu decided to leave the path of her family behind and search for a path of her own. Out of curiosity and personal interest, she took the initiative to learn a variety of crafts and skills. And it wasn't long before she obtained many certificates. So many, in fact, that she can't even fit all her qualifications on a business card. For example, uh, Shinobu even went to study law in Liyue, which is when she met Yenfei. So they know each other. Yenfei has some pretty random acquaintances. <laughs> yeah, but Shinobu's had the chance to meet many people along the course of her studies, but because she wanted a free work environment, she's rejected countless work opportunities. She even passed on an opportunity from Kujo Tengu to work in the Tenryo Commission. Wait, they know each other too? Mm-hmm. And guess who she chose to be with? You can guess. Hey. Uh... Uh, <laughs> Ningguang? It's the Arataki game! Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, for, that, that. For some reason. Guys, I'm so excited. It's, it's great. Okay, moving <laughs> no on. No one knows why. Moving on. <laughs> All right, if you're interested in learning more about Kuki Shinobu Travel. and the Arataki no gang, you are, then be sure to check out Shinobu's very own hangout event in version 2.7. Not only will you get to see a day in the life of the Arataki gang, how exciting is that, but you'll also get to learn a lot more about Shinobu's past. And that's about all I can say for now. Travelers will have to check out the event to learn more. Okay, we've covered her backstory. Now let's see the Arataki gang's deputy leader kicking some butt in battle. Woo! Kuki Shinobu is a support character who wields a sword and uses her electrovision to both heal teammates and deal continuous damage from off the battlefield. She can do it all. Her unique skills allow her to sacrifice an her own healer? HP in combat in order to heal other party members. Aww, it's valiant. That's so sweet of her. It's selfless. Nice. It's generous. When she uses her elemental skill, Sanctifying Ring, she sacrifices a certain portion of her HP to create a grass ring of sanctification that'll heal friendly characters within it and deal continuous electro damage to surrounding opponents. After her unlocking the passive Shogun? talent Heart's oh, Repose, her elemental routine. skills healing and damage will be boosted based on Shinobu's elemental mastery. With another passive talent, Breaking Free, when Shinobu's HP is low, her healing bonus is increased. So, travelers will need to monitor her HP when using her skill. You don't want it to be too low, but at the same time, lower is also better. Definitely, yes. Shinobu's elemental burst, Gyoe Narukami Kariyama Right, creates a special field in front of her that deals continuous electro damage to opponents within it. And it goes without saying that Shinobu is amazing at carrying out expeditions. With the passive talent Protracted Prayers, she gains increased rewards when dispatched on an Inazuma expedition for 20 hours. So she knows how to bring home the bacon. Tasty. It I is. It it's very tasty. Let me tell you, man, Ito sure is lucky to have such a capable deputy leader. But the feeling is mutual, and Shinobu feels the members of the gang are also super important to her. They are her true family members, regardless of her rebellious nature. Although Shinobu has to bail them out of trouble over and over again, the gang is the only place she feels truly free and at peace. And I think it's great that they found each other. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, I hope everyone is feeling pretty excited for these new characters. Oh boy, we covered a lot there. Yeah, definitely a lot. So, mm, I think it's about time we roll out our next redemption code. <laughs> redemption code. Roll out the redemption code! 
Okay, okay, okay. Let me take a picture so I can add it to the game, baby. An actual DPS character. Or oh, are they gonna switch up last minute like they did when we go? Mm-hmm. I ain't getting any conflicts for you. Definitely for you. And you look like you're a four star too. But uh electro healer? That's nice. And then phase one? Her? What is it? And Zao? And then it's Edito? And then it's her? It's gonna be a clean 2.7. Banner wise. What are these events looking like? Is it really gonna hold us for six weeks? Is it really gonna feed us? And what are the updates? All right, welcome back, everyone. We're back. Yes. Woo. Next, we will be diving into some of the new events players can expect to see coming their way in version 2.7. Our first event not only includes our new Archon Quest interlude chapter, but will also contain a new challenge game mode. The event's called Perilous Trail. The Archon Quest will be featuring a very unique cast of characters as Yenfei, Yelan, Ito, and Shinobu team up with the Traveler when they become stranded deep in the chasm. And it's not long before we also discover that Xiao is also conducting an investigation of his own in the chasm. Investigation, you say? Hmm? <laughs> Because there's a lot of history and secrets buried within the chasm, including the story of how the people of Liyue fought off it, monsters really 500 years ago. Yelan has been monitoring this place for quite some time, trying to find out the truth of what happened back then. It turns out that this piece of history is also related to her origins. The mystery! Mystery. Yeah, the group will also find themselves facing a crisis in the chasm and will have to survive together in what will definitely be a thrilling experience. Mm. So from what's been revealed in the previous version, we know that there is a deep connection between the Yakshas and what happened in the chasm. It even seems that our vigilant Yaksha Shao has some obsession with the area. It'll be interesting to see why he's in the chasm and what he's looking for down there. Travelers will have to follow Xiao's steps to learn more about the history that has been sealed there. As travelers play through the Archon Quest, the combat challenge Realms of Guile and War will also gradually become available. Travelers will need to constantly defeat enemies within a challenge domain. Completing three challenges will be counted as a round, the first three domains will consist of three rounds, and the last domain will have six rounds. What's unique about this event is that after each round, you have to rearrange your party according to the domain's rules. For example, in the Direcliff Court domain, only one member of the current party can be selected to continue on, while everyone else will enter recuperation mode and will be unable to fight. In are, another are domain, really Kaleidoscope Cage, two characters will be selected at random and will be unable to, to continue one the character. Fight. Interesting. So it looks like and travelers will need to be prepared to face a variety of scenarios. Yeah, but I'm round. sure travelers will come up with some teams and strategies to handle the challenges. Still, it sounds like they're going to need to use a lot of characters. Uh, I don't know if everyone's leveled up quite so many. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. And what about the um, free to play players? You know, I got to level up a. Uh, a lot of my characters. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> so it's important we mention that each of the domains will also have multiple trial characters prepared for travelers to use. Oh. And additionally, travelers may select and equip three stratagems per combat round that will provide buffs in battle. Oh, cool. Yeah. Travelers may consume stratagem shards they've collected in battle to redraw stratagems or select a previously equipped stratagem for continued use. Stratagem shards may even be used to redeploy downed characters. With the help of all of these supporting mechanics, travelers can confidently try the challenges with different combinations of characters. Yeah, and in addition to exchangeable rewards in the event shop, everyone should remember to also collect rewards from the challenge quests on the event page. The rewards will include an event-exclusive four-star bow called Fading Twilight. Ooh, fancy. Sounds cool. So you guys have got to check out this event. Oh, I definitely will. All right, our next event is called A Muddy Bazaar Adventure. This one also takes place down in the chasm. That 
darn mysterious chasm. <laughs> so mysterious. For reasons unknown, some dark, mud-like substance Bro, no. This no. has come pouring out of the caverns and mines of the chasm, and once again, the Sumeru scholar Hosseini has appeared to help us resolve the crisis. My bad. I don't. area while energizing I don't itself. Know what Attacks from on. monsters will disable the spike, the so travelers it's must be sure to protect. Also, when the spike that's operating normally, using blooming light with a lumen stone adjuvant of a certain level, will clear out nearby oozing concretions, granting the spike additional energy and speeding up the charging process. Oh, heck yeah. Nice. Uh, as the event progresses through different phases, uses for the spike will also change. For example, the spike could release shock waves at I'm intervals that attack opponents like and dispel the buffs that those opponents possess. To do in the also, the challenge really objectives nothing. will change throughout the event. In some challenges, explore. travelers may have to defeat the enemies in a limited amount of time, while in others, travelers will have to escort a hot air balloon to its destination while clearing out dark mud along the way. In the last phase of the event, travelers will have to clear dark mud and defeat monsters to reach a high score. In this challenge, powerful opponents will appear and travelers may defeat them to earn more points. Travelers will need to be careful of the dark mud as it drains HP and affects our ability to move. Mm -hmm. So be sure to stay safe and make quick work of any enemies you encounter. Keep yourself alive! See, I have yeah. me. I'm up! So you guys remember how I said that Shinobu studied law in Liyue before? Well, well, to celebrate her graduation, we're holding a special six, event. Six, the six, Almighty six, Arataki six, Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival! Which, in case you didn't catch that, is gonna be another rhythm game event. Yes! Rhythm game! Rhythm game! Rhythm game! Rhythm game! <laughs> yep, hey. and we're gonna be shaking things up a little. The moment I feel it. The moment I feel it. Let me give you the kiss. Well, from the previous music games, this time, travelers will be receiving a drum, so the game will be changing to a play style that is a little more suitable for a percussive feel. It'll probably be best if we just show the travelers how it works, so let's take a look at how to play. Alright, here we go. Yes, pro mode. That's the only kind of rhythm game I want to play. Let's go, drum in hand. I haven't seen this All since, right, like, it's like one of the semicircle style ones. Yeah. I can get behind that. Okay, so you gotta use two hands. Yeah. All right. I mean, some people do them one handed, but I can't imagine doing that personally. Yeah, it's tough for me. We're seeing a lot of single notes. Yep, we, we got, got the, the we got the, the taps and we got the holes. You got tippy taps so and the holes. Good. And then we have the double notes too. You have to hold them down at the same time. Nice, multitasking. Uh, I'm really loving this. Bro. My first uh, ad? Are you serious? My dad's closet and stealing like a pair of his final ones. I used to steal a lot of Levi's stuff from my dad. I used to wear Canadian Burr. tuxedos in the school. I had a denim backpack, I had a denim jacket. It would just be like denim on denim on denim. I genuinely feel like Levi's have superpower. I don't know. Levi's 501. This is the pair that started it all. Time to shine. Yeah, sorry for the constant interruptions. I don't know what the hell is going on with their Twitch live stream. But next time when y'all do this, can y'all just upload the video to YouTube so we can all just react and watch because I'm so sick of the live streams doing doing this. Just just post it all on YouTube. Just live stream don't want to work for me. I will watch it with another content creator, but I don't know if they're going to use their recording live footage for a YouTube video. Oh my god. 
<sighs> Voyagers, you are killing me. Fucking killing me. course, in order to share your tunes with others, you will first be re Oh my goodness. What the fuck is up with the launch? Required to play the song and reach a specific rank to generate the share code. And my finally... Travelers will also find some special gifts and messages left by some familiar friends at the festival. So don't forget to check those out. Oh, I will. Everyone makes in this event. And that's it for the new events in version 2.7. Next, we have some important system updates and optimizations. Please don't tell me I'm not the only one that's First, going to help this travelers issue. on their adventures. The system designers have added challenge feature tips to the beginning of some high level material domains. These will include some suggestions on how to quickly defeat the monsters in the domain, which might help travelers find the optimum team or strategy to efficiently clear it. Next, the system designers will be providing some detailed tips to help players train and strengthen their characters. When players open the Character Talents menu, they can use the newly added Talent Reference button to see talent priority recommendations based on the actual data of other active players. And by You're pressing the Attribute teach us Reference how to button play the on game the Character Artifacts correctly? menu, players can see the main attribute usage statistics for each artifact slot. The system designers wish to give everyone more intuitive data to reference while choosing how to strengthen each of your characters. Ooh, cool. So, yeah. That'll make it easier. Um, the talent reference button looks super convenient. Like, it seems like it would be really helpful if you're kind of on the fence and you don't know what you want to pick. You can see what everybody else has, like, done in the past. Oh, totally. Anyways, we Next also have another update regarding the I'm just going to record the games. video, post this up, and then do my reaction, because I'm so sick of the live streams and all this technical issues just i know i'm not the only one going through this right now music during version 2.7 we will be releasing a new ost album millilith's watch which includes all the music composed when you can't even get into the stream because the stream keeps loading and I was really trying to say, they really dropped some areas. Ooh, sounds Ooh, cool. Hey, next we have a new collaboration to announce to everyone. We'll be teaming up with the Funko brand to release a series of Genshin Impact Funko Pops. Whoa! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> the first wave will feature figurines of Paimon, Ether, and me. These will be released as Funko Pop Asia bobblehead figures. Travelers who are interested can head to the official Funko website to be notified when the figures are released. Although you have to wait for the figures, you won't have to wait for the next redemption code! Yay. Excuse the dog in the background. But is this like the fourth one? Yeah, sorry for the technical issues. Next time I do 2.8 reaction, I'm going to wait until they post a video. I don't know if the live stream is crashing because everybody's watching it or my internet decides to turn on me. Just like the dog barking in the background. Um. <laughs> so much. Um. Or I could just watch it, take notes. And then freeze frame my favorite parts. I don't know. Or live stream this as well. 
I don't know, I'm going to get creative in 2.8. I was going to do a face cam, but I'm too tired. And it's like, you know, it's happening. Yeah. 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 Really? Really? Yeah, but we actually covered a lot of content oh, we today. Definitely. You know, we did cover a lot, didn't we? And as usual, I gotta ask you guys, how did you like being on the special program? Super fun. It was great. <laughs> I love my little chibi. <laughs> Uh, and I'm super excited to have gotten to give Yalon a formal introduction, so that's yeah. nice. And I, I'm really excited for people to meet Kuki. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many things coming. Um, like I'm, the rhythm game. The rhythm, rhythm, rhythm game. game. Rhythm game. Yes. And uh, building a robot. I'm excited for the storyline as well to see you know, more of what is happening down there in the chasm. There's a lot going on down there. <laughs> But yeah, I guess that is it for today's special program. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see y'all next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.